This is Alan C. Trith, and we are back with Secret of Evermore. I've done the leveling up, and I've not, now got my bone at max level, which I think is only three. Gives me two levels of charge if I wish to use it. And my flash, I think, is also up to level three. Alchemy spells go up much higher in this game, though, so... I don't want to spend that much time. For one thing, it's getting to the point where it takes forever to level it up. Not only does it take time, in this game it also takes money because you need to buy all those alchemy ingredients. Unlike Secret of Mana where you can just go to the inn and take a nap. Okay, next area we're going to is this little whirlpool sand area. What was the, the swamp called in uh, Princess Bride? I want the R-O-U-S is in the lightning sand. Ugh, I should have done some research. Oh well. In any case, you're going to want to go into one of the whirlpools at some point, because it brings you here. And this is a little consumable shop. They carry, like, the petals, the dog biscuits, the nectar. But this guy also has a special deal today. If you buy anything from him, he will give you a jaguar tooth ring, which allows you to run. So, essence is basically your poison cure. Dog Biscuits res Revive the Dog. I don't remember what Pixie Dust does. But Nectar, I believe, revives... I want to say Nectar revives like your main character if he gets killed. But I might be wrong. And then Pixie Dust... If Nectar doesn't revive your main character, it's the Pixie Dust. Which means Nectar just heals both characters. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played this. And if you're looking for an informed LP, well, you probably stopped at Crusader of Senti. In any case, we have the Jaguar Ring. Excellent. Now you can run, but it also resets your attack meter, so mm, limited usefulness. Then again, there's not a whole lot of areas in the game where you need to run. Heck, you can make characters' movements quite fast as it is. Of the mole people. Stay focused and watch your step. Again, he makes a reference to mole people and he makes a reference, he feels like he could have made a better pun with it. Like. Ugh, I'm supposed to be creative. I've written books. How can I not think of a pun on the spot? I'm a failure as a writer. In any case, let's continue. Okay, not much to this area. Just watch out for the whirlpools. They send you out to random places at this point, so... Really just an annoyance. I say that. Now I'm thinking about it. I wonder if like, one of them goes somewhere special. Hmm. Tell you what, between this one and the next episode, I might come back here and just check every whirlpool just to be sure. If I find something, I'll record it and put it in the next, at the beginning of the next play. Okay. Oh, another pedal. Oh, talons. Even better. I need money. Alchemy ingredients are expensive. Okay, going up here. Oh, and there's some treasure. And it's more pedals, which I can't carry. Typically, the way I was doing it while leveling up is I'd use the pe use a pedal whenever someone would drop something. That way I'd heal up and get the thing. Get the pedal. In this case, though, I'm going to hold off a bit. I want to say we pass by this way on the way back. And if that happens, hey, I might need a pedal by that point. Uh, so just like Secret of Mana, you have a limited amount of uh, how many of each item you can carry. Here, I believe the number is six. I think it's for everything. Oh, your, your main consumables, I should say. Your alchemy ingredients, you can hold up to 99. I can't seem to figure out where this alchemy item is. Probably a game glitch has it on top of that little platform. Okay, well, 
I should mention that the dog is leveled up his attack to level 3 as well. I've only got him set for his basic attack, though. If I had a friend, I could, could have had him play the dog. Nah, my friends are all busy. Uh, it doesn't help that I work a graveyard shift. Anyway. Only until the books become famous. <laughs> so I keep telling myself. Okay. Past the, the quicksand, the desert, the whirlpool desert, whatever you want to call it. We now have the tar swamp. It's a good spot. You can find a lot of oil and wax here. Okay, a few new enemies too. We have the, I believe in Castlevania, these are called white dragons. Never understood why. Oh, it's the Dormor snake ish. Fortunately, these don't shoot fireballs at you. You got the bugs, because of course the bugs are everywhere. They make quite a satisfying squish sound, I feel. When you kill them. Okay. Ash. Which is kind of weird. This is nowhere near the volcano. We'll probably get to the volcano. <sighs> Excuse me. In the next part. This place is a bit of a maze. So you want to take your time. Put all the ingredients you can. Even one extra casting of a spell can save you sometimes. I say that, but I've leveled mine up to the point. I leveled Flash up enough, so I don't think it's going to be a huge issue. I seem to recall that a leveled up Flash can make pretty short work of the first big boss. Kind of a shame it doesn't start you off with the heal spell. <sighs> or the cure spell, for that matter, though. I don't think anything's poisoned me yet. Okay. And in this cave we have an alchemist. One thing to note about this game is a lot of these alchemists are hidden throughout the, throughout the game. You'll find them all over the place. And it's very easy to walk past some of them and miss recipes that are really good. I'll try to catch all the ones I've got. If you see me miss one though, by all means give me a shout out in the comments. I'll pop back and check it out in the next uh, segment. This is called Hardball. It takes one clay and one crystal. Which, to my imagination, means you just wrap the clay around the crystal and throw it at somebody. Which I suppose would hurt. Anyway, these are nice because it's a one-on-one -on -one spell. It takes two ingredients and only one each. So if you max out your ingredients, and by the end of the game you are maxing out your ingredients, you can cast it 99 times. At the moment, I'm going to stick with getting more wax and oil, though. Remember, we need twice as much oil as we have wax. Let's see. I want her to check. I want her to have a few extra crystals, though. If we find some clay along the way, we can try hardball out. There we go. Level 10? Wow, I didn't realize I was that high up. Oh, there's some clay right there. Okay, back in the swamp. Oh, I should also mention, you notice that every alchemist has mentioned if, want, if I want unequipped spells. Yeah, you have, uh, I think you have a limit of nine alchemy spells you can hold at any one time. Fortunately, those guys are all over the place, and every one of them will give you that option, so it's easy to switch when you need to. More often than not, you'll find the favorites and stick with them. Me, I always stuck with a few different elemental attacks. Uh, heal whenever I got it, cure whenever I got it. Let's see what comes up in this one. Maybe I can think of, maybe we'll have some better ones this time. Okay, hardball. Then yeah, not terribly effective against the white dragon. Still, we'll have to level up eventually. Yeah, these guys can be tricky to hit. The trick is to actually aim for their head. 
regardless of where their body is, and even if you have to aim for their head as they're striking. More clay, more hardball. Okay, a lot of flopper worms around here. Been reading Harry Potter lately. Oh. The pumpkin we can't quite reach yet. I, they're probably gourds. It just the shape makes me think pumpkin more than gourd. Okay, well we're just doing some running around finding ingredients and such. I want to point out, actually, I got to play some of the uh, No Man's Sky update that came out oh, yesterday, I think. Probably came out earlier than that, I just noticed it yesterday. Nevertheless, I gotta say, I do find it a real improvement. The addition of grass on some biomes really makes it look plants look a lot more proper. And the sort of the quest line that sort of develops from building your own base. I felt it kind of helped me establish more of a rapport with my the people I've hired to take, take care of the place. Whereas before they were just sort of generic people you could find in any base. I do like the game. I know a lot of people complained when it came out. And even, even looking back and watching those old trailers, uh, I think we should have seen it coming. It was going to be a bit more than they were promising. Kind of a Molyneux. That should be a term. Molyneux for when a developer just makes promises that are unrealistic. <laughs> I cut Molyneux a little flack, though, because Fable 2 was one of my favorite games. 3, not so much, and I still haven't gotten around to playing through the anniversary of Fable 1. Which I heard was better. Let's put out Fable 2. And again, it's... This is another game where you've got a dog. I've, seen, I've just been running into a lot of them lately. Uh, I donated the copies of Rule of the Rose and Haunting Ground to the... Uh, the excellent Scum of the Earth channel. Which you should definitely check out. Those guys are hilarious. Anything I wish I I had right right now is like someone to make jokes about this with. I particularly love their Bad Tunes broadcasts. In fact, I'm going to see if I can't look at a copy of Katie the Caterpillar for it. I've suggested Gravinians, but at the same time, I don't know if I wish Gravinians on my worst enemy. Oh, well. Anyway, back to the game. You'll notice we're near this cavern that looks like an old bug carapace. I said that carapace? Carapace. Carapace. Dead bug. <laughs> Dead bug shell. This is, as you probably have guessed, where the first boss, first main boss is. Also, you want to take notice of that one leg that was broken on the right side. Inside, we've got a little bit of a maze here. This one's a little trickier. In the swamp. You'll notice that these little passages between the spots are darker. Well, some of them will break away when you try to go past them. In fact, some of them will try to break away when you try to backtrack. It's very easy to uh, get yourself trapped, but fortunately, even if you get trapped, you're always trapped near one of these the edges where you get this slide thing that goes back down to the bottom. So it's more of an annoyance than anything, but I still wanted to mention it. I have a vague recollection of it the right way, but... I don't think I've played this since I played it on the Super Nintendo, so... Oh, and that one broke off. The good news is they don't grow back, so eventually you'll get through. It's just a matter of perseverance. More white dragons, more ingredients. Oh, and again, we'll aim for the head. Oh. Heal up. No man's sky. I think. <laughs> and I realize this, this is a sort of flawed way to say it. 
But I think one of the things that would have helped, and if there's a mod community out there, I'd, I'd, probably, I'd like to think they probably already did this. But the three big alien species, at least the, uh, there may be more. I've only seen the three. The Corvax, the Gek, and I, I honestly can't remember the name of the other ones. But the thing is, they're all very... And I realize this is a weird way to say it. Alien. <laughs> I guess what I'm really trying to say is that, honestly... They probably would have done better to have at least one species that was more humanish. And I know the Corvax are, are robots that look they are kind of humanoid. Ah, uh, hell, I'm just trying to say they should have had sexy female uh, aliens. Yes, I know it's a horrible thing to say, and I feel bad for saying it, but. What can I say? I've been playing Mass Effect. <laughs> The Asari and the Quarians. Even the Turians in an odd sort of way. Uh, female Turians. Huh? I don't know. I'm weird. <laughs> and lonely. <laughs> okay. I should mention I played on the PlayStation for the... Uh, no Man's Sky, I should say. Uh, my computer my computer is not bad but right now we're getting a bit of a heat wave down here in Texas and it's so bad the air conditioner it, which has always been a pretty crappy air conditioner to be sure it's for a house it's really the person who my person who owns the house now he didn't buy it he, he bought the uh, the air conditioner that's there is the one that came with the house Whoever bought that initially, though, it's not made for this size house. This house is bigger. As a result, it's had, it's struggling to keep up with the house. Normally, it's not a problem, but right now, we're finding it, it gets up to like 78 easy in the middle of the day. Cut back to me in my room wanting to play something on my computer. My computer puts off enough heat to be considered a small space heater. So yeah, I don't want to play that too much during the middle of the day. Unfortunately, it means I haven't got a chance to follow my buddies on Scum of the Earth. Their Twitch, uh, they, their Fire Pro Fridays, I believe what they call it. They play Fire Pro Wrestling and set up goofy matches based on user suggestions. Seriously, those guys are hilarious. You really should give them a chance. I actually started watching them while looking up a Harvester Let's Play. Another weird game. Okay. Oh, ingredient, ingredient. Roots. Those are, I think roots are part of the cure spell, or the healing spell when you get it. So yeah, that's one you want plenty of. Right off the bat, the cure spell is already friggin' out, does the petals. Okay, biscuit. Oh, that's good. I can bring my dog back to life if necessary. Okay, I think we're right near the boss now. Yep, he's up ahead. Okay. The first big boss of Secret of Evermore. And if you ever seen the SNES cartridge, this guy's right on the cover. Big ugly bug thing. Now, there are two ways to handle this. The standard way, which is to run up to him, smack him in the chest until his rib bones open, rib teeth open, then hop inside his chest cavity and smack him in the heart. He will scream and knock you back across the screen, and then you get to do it all over again. Oh. That was happening. Or, you can cast Fireball straight at his heart. Oh. Wish I had done more damage. Also, you can, you can, if you want to, target his arms. That won't stop him from screaming, but it will stop him from being able to attack with, with those arms. 
Now these flubber worms are gonna just keep dropping down, so really it's not worth the time to take them out. Ooh, that hit him hard. See, that's why you level up Flash. Thrax. This thing's called a Thrax. Okay. Acid Rain is one of those spells. It doesn't really hurt that bad. But it's got a strangely long animation to it. Oh. Yeah, he screams every time you hit him. So, get used to that. Oop. Did the wrong thing. I seem to recall his arms were pretty weak, but I want to make sure I get his uh, get his heart. I don't have, any, don't have too many flashes left. Oh yeah, spells can be used on multiples, but unlike Secret Reminder, which I think you can use on pretty much everything, here you can only use it on three enemies, and it basically decides itself which three enemies. So pretty much, it's best to just target yourself, target, choose your targets yourself, I should say. No, 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 not multiple. Uh, that's a lot of fine. Oh. I killed something. Oh, got his heart. I got him. This, whew, This guy annihilated me the first time I played this game. To the point where I was like, I didn't want to play anymore. Mind you, this is back in the days where you rented a game for three days. That was like your weekend. So I tried it, ran into a dead end, and it was like, well, it's time to bring the game back. And we got our spider claw, which is clearly an axe. I don't get this, because the bone looks like a bone. They could have made it look more claw-like. Oh, well. And Strongheart's here. The Nobilian Order of Alchemists. Tin wax and tin oil, so... Basically, five castings of Flash. Thanks. He'll give you something else, but you gotta go find Relos. It's not that hard. We'll pass by there later. I'm just kind of annoyed he couldn't have given you that as a prize, because that turns out to be the cure mag the alchemy. In this particular case, that means the that's the one that uh, cures your poison. Which is kind of a big deal. <laughs> More crystals. Mammoth guard. Ooh, that's armor. Better armor is always nice. Big stone bracelet. I gotta say, I wonder if... I noticed that there's a Twitch app on the PlayStation 4. I gotta say, if I can find a way to rig that up, if, it, if you can actually... Use that to record PlayStation 4 games. I could see myself doing a uh, LP of Kingdom Hearts because I do like that game. I keep meaning to pick up the uh, the remix, like one one or two remix that came out for the PlayStation 4. I already got the PlayStation 3 version. Okay, this guy is easy to miss, and to be fair, his spell is not that great, but we want it anyway. You're telling me. Not really. He's going to give me the acid rain spell. And I don't know. I never use this much. It's never really that strong. And it, it's very resource heavy. It takes, it takes three water. And while water is one of the cheapest elements. Cheaper, I should note, from this guy. Like, it's $30 from everyone else. 20 bucks from this guy. 20 talons, I should say. But even though it's cheap like that, I always kind of keep in mind how many of a maximum spell I can use, have stored away. Which means in this case, about 33. And since it's not that good of a spell, frankly, I, I could see if you wouldn't even want to bother with it. In this case, I'd rather stock up on crystals and clay. Because again, between... Uh, episode or sets of this I'm gonna be leveling it up Got a nice little uh, selection of all of them right now though before I leave this area of the game I'd like to have them all maxed out 
Because when you leave this first area of the game, some of the ingredients start getting start getting to be harder to find. And there's water I didn't have to buy. Great. Great. That's 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 wonderful. Okay, let's get back to town. <laughs> okay. By this point these guys are nothing. One thing I do like about the axe is it does seem to have a bit of a longer reach. But that's not its most notable feature. The most notable feature is that it can cut through this grass. Which basically opens up everything else. Okay, her ball. Oh, I got him. Okay. It's like the level up to at least level one. Oh. Oh, there we go. Hardball level one. And still not that powerful, but eh. More bugs. Not bugs. These are fell out of flowers. Better against one enemy, though. Okay. First, I'm going to check this area up here. Well, right now... One of those weird little holes. Okay. Yeah, there's not much up here right now of use. Oh, flowers. There we go. Okay. There's an area up here, but there's, there's not, there's not going to be anything there. You'll see in just a second after we kill these guys. And later in the game, these are the jumping off points for your flying vehicle. However, we don't have that yet. So, off we go. We get some more ingredients. Ooh, two parts. Well, that's nice. Oh, let's try acid rain a few times. I seem to recall the, a similar spell in Secret of Mana, and it did like a degenerative HP effect. And that would be useful, but I just don't see it doing that here. Oh, I'm impatient, so maybe I'm just not giving it time. Again, like I said, you have to spend money on components. Why waste time on something a lesser spell? Well, because you're LPing it, and you want to give it a fair shot. I'll be checking that out, leveling that up too. We'll see how well it does when it's up to level 2 or 3, like everything else. Speaking of which... Oh, Flash is almost level 3. It's already pretty powerful. Probably a few more castings. Okay, Acid Rain, no, it's nothing. Heart Ball, hmm. Okay, let's head inside and. Oh. Well, I guess let's go talk to Fire Eyes. Oh, Volcano's dying. Hmm. I'm sure this has nothing to do with me. Okay. Let's fill up on some special ingredients. Oh. I just realized I spent all of the money earlier. Okay, well, I'll just get a few more then. We've got a good, good amount of everything right now, so that's good. Let's go talk to Fire Eyes, and we'll probably call that it for this episode. Yes, I know. We'll talk to him later. Okay. Dog goes to sleep. And, of course, she already knows I'm victorious. Of course it was a bug hunt! It... I like her response to this. Well, that's... that's great. <laughs> you killed the bug and you brought its arm back. That's wonderful. Okay. You think about it, what's he, what's he gonna do anyway? <laughs> the volcano is dying. If it's dying, it's dying. Well, this is, we do find out the truth about Evermore, though, that it was created by the grandfather of the scientists from the beginning. 
Not the creepy old vizier who tried to get me killed and gave me a bazooka. Vipers, that's what they're called in this game. So she thinks that someone, someone who sabotaged her father's work and got them all stuck here in the first place, was it 30 years ago, or 40 years ago, might be trying to destroy her place by fiddling with the volcano. So she's gonna wants us to go check it out. Before then, though, she's gonna give us these beads that let her summon her. Oh, and now she's gonna show us why we might want to summon a little girl with pigtails. Here we go. Because while the rest of us have alchemy, she actually does seem to have some sort of magic. Meh. Oh well. That's going to be enough for now. Let's get the ash from this and well, we'll pick up next time. Until then, uh, well, I never know how to end these, so let's just end it. Goodbye.